Happy. Happy rising, kings and queens. God, this thing is doing all kind of weird stuff. Happy rising, kings and queens. Happy rising, kings and queens. Hey, it's me, Wanda D, the motivational queen. It is Saturday. <clears throat> Sipping on my coffee. We're in our 21 days of motivational mastery, day 13. It is early for some, late for others. Yes, yes, yes. It is. I'm in the ATL. I don't know why this light is doing little crazy stuff. But I'm in the ATL this morning. This Saturday. And it is 6.04 Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Have to get on the, um, say my time zones. Sometimes, you know, you be out of the time zone. <clears throat> what I love about um, more of the, the early morning rise hours is that nature, you can really hear nature, you know. I'm listening to the birds now, and they're getting it, and it's still dark out. You know, it's still dark. I bet there's a lot of sleeping still going on. And that's cool. That's cool. So, when you all get up, then you can check it out. And you can always go to YouTube. The rest of the lessons are on YouTube. My YouTube channel, Wanda D. Hollis. Yes. And then you can see all of the um, prior days that we met from day one up to now. Plus, there's other stuff on there. Just get curious with it. Subscribe to the channel. That would be super fantastic. Um, just if you would go ahead on and subscribe share this video when you do take a look at it if you come on board share the video and be nosy be nosy with the other videos like share make comments even afterwards say hey I did come through watched it share some of your thoughts knowledge Tell me what you thought about it. Tell me what's going on. And this is Saturday. We're going to call this... Hmm. How about self-love Saturday? How about that? Self-love Saturday. Now, in our 21-day mastery... We've been talking about just that. How to master your motivation. 21 day motivational mastery. We've been talking about how to motivate your own self. You know, not so much looking for something outside of you, but to look for something inside and really go after that thing, whatever that thing is. Right? trying to do something uh because i'm you know i'm really i'm i'm a real big believer that everything let me do something right quick it says that my let me do this there. 
I'm a real big believer that everything that you want, you can have. You can, you know, if you really, really put your mind to it, look around you and kind of link up with the right resources, the right people, the right energy. You know, put yourself in that in that motion. Um, and, and then you have to get to work. You have to commit to something much, 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 much greater than yourself you know it has to be something that really um, that really moves you you know something that really really says this is what I'm going after and I'm going it I'm going after it until I I'm not going to stop until I get it you know So, that's what self mastery is all about. And then there's some certain there's certain deprogramming you have to do to put yourself in that um, in that energy. There's certain reprogramming that you that's absolutely crucial and necessary. Because if you don't do it, you won't move. You won't move. Um, unfortunately, life gets us stuck. It gets us stuck in, in nonsense and in things that don't matter. I, you know, it's like, um, it's like kind of like how the media will, will give you, will start feeding you a lot of stuff to take your mind off of certain things to take you, to take you away into certain places that you say, why am I thinking about this? I was supposed to be focused over there. But um, that's how life is. It gets it gets in a way like that. So you have to be very, very cautious of what's happening to you. You have to be very cautious. Uh, you can't... You can't play with it. You know, you can't... You can't uh, think that... You can't think that things are going to just appear, things are just going to happen with no effort cuz that's not the way it. That's not the way it happens and you know you're smarter than that. You know that. You know that. But what I want you to do is just remove the excuses. When you I was listening to something and it said um goodness, I wrote it down. I just don't know where I wrote it on. Something about uh, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it because it was really, really good. And I'm going to find it. I'm going to have it for you tomorrow. I'm not going to look for it right now. But um, just to say that you have to be very, very careful how you use your excuses. Your, do you know your excuses when? Once you put them, once you, once you say the but part of, I want to learn a new language. But... When you put that but after that, you've killed everything before that. So, you know, I just want you to be mindful of that. Just, you know, if don't play with yourself. Stop playing with yourself. Don't do that. If if it's something that you want, I'm going to caution you. Do not say the but after it. Just say, I want to learn that language and I need to set it up like this. Remember we talked about how the how we use our index card. I think it was um let me go back in my notes. On day 4, we talked about writing down our um one specific goal and hold on one second. I'm saying I'm saying hold on to myself, right? <laughs> or to you. To, to you, to you, to you, whoever catches this, it's going to catch the right person. I already know that. Let me see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm almost there. Almost there. Okay. So, what was I saying? 
Um, so on our card on day four, we talked about um, writing down one specific goal. And then and then you write um, on the back of the card, you write Matthew 7, 7 from the King James Version. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find it. Knock and the door shall be open. You read that card three times minimum a day on both sides. Now, I also said, you know, something else that I do, which, you know, I, I hang sticky notes around the house. This this um, this particular verse I hang at the door, on the refrigerator, in the bathroom, you know, because these are places that you go to a lot. Plus, you know, side note is when you're trying to get you together, you just, you know, just the whole mother and um, me, I'm always going to try to get everybody else together. You know, I am going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to get everybody else in line and I do it. And I do it in a way which, you know, sometimes, you know, you when, when, when it comes to your family, you can't just say, sit down and watch this, sit down and tune in, whatever. You just have to, you know, put little subliminals on, you know, like turn your, turn your message up loud so everybody can hear it. And even though they, you know, may not want to hear it, but they, um, they hear it anyway, you know, so that's how you have to trick your family into um, paying attention to what's going on. So, you know, on that first day... Hello, Dr. Funderbird. Um, we we put down on our index card our one specific goal, main goal, and then we wrote Matthew 7, 7. So, you know, you're reading that three times a day. And then we also talked about, we went back into how to activate that one specific goal. You, you have to list, make a list about 20 things minimum related to that goal. So as you're walking this thing out on this manifestation and you start to activate on those one things that leads up to that you know so you just keep on going you just keep on going so we also talked about gratitude and people places and projects and i think about that a lot because that's really what moves us that's what moves us into our um seeing this thing that we call life and we see it how it grows and how it how it teaches us how it how it educates us it will let you know certain things about yourself you'll learn more about yourself and that's it's always about learning about yourself and how can you share and pour into others and say i learn not not for me but how i'm going to use the information because it, it's it's just a waste of time if it's just for me no i want to share it you know so everything that i want that i that i want is for a bigger purpose um so that is how we put these cards into to action you know being mindful all the time and when you stay being mindful it keeps us on track right right <clears throat> so we let me just run through the days up to now day one we talked about pretty much the power of prayer meditation and reflection um Day two, the power of dreams. Writing down those dreams is very, very key to staying in this 21-day motivational mastery. Um, day three, we're talking about what you're reading, what you're listening to, what you're speaking. And today, you know, today I listened to, before I got on here, I listened to one of my um, my beloved ministers that's gone on now. She's made her transition, but Martha Jean the Queen very powerful and very instrumental in my life when I lived in Detroit and she has this video and it's her one of her old lessons um do you really want to make it and I listened to that this morning and I tell you that thing is timeless I'm gonna share it on my page so anybody who want to check it out can but um, talk about listening to things that move you and motivate you and keep you in that focus area, 
you know, because being in that focus area is very crucial. You have to stay committed to your motivation, to your, um, to yourself. So make sure that you listen to the right things, speak in the right way. Again, day four, uh, you know, as I just talked about the index card, um, in day five, the power of words, day six, self-discipline, uh, day seven, self-love, forgiveness, and honesty, you know, in order to grow, we have to let go of certain things in our life. So we got to get honest with certain things, you know, certain people, certain activities that we're involved in. Day eight, we talked about defining your why, which is very, very crucial, um, in in life, if you don't know why you're doing something, you're not going to do it. You're not going to stick to it. It's not going to make sense. So you really, really have to sit down and really map out this why am I doing what I'm doing. Day and I would talk about um, uh, letting go so you can grow. You know, those negative thoughts, uh, deprogramming some of those old behaviors, you know, admitting to yourself that say this, say I am where I am because of who I am. Wow, that hurts. I know it do. You know, because when you look about, when you look over your life and you say, I was there, you want to blame somebody else or shift the responsibility on someone else. And it's like, no, you know, um, nine times out of 10, you were there because of, of, of what you did. Regardless of how the decision looked like, you know, you put yourself there. Um, day 10, it was all about it's time to change your BS, you know, your belief system. I'm not going to tell you anything that you haven't heard before. Um, because these things have been going on since the beginning of time over and over again. It doesn't change. We have to say it's time to change if I want things to get better. You know, whatever that change would be. And it could be something small. I remember um, Jim Rohn, he used to say, one of the great motivational speakers, he used to say, you know, like, he did this lesson of setting your sail. And he would say that most of the time when you're in the direction of life and you just kind of trying to get this thing moving right, it's only a little bit of, like, like he would relay it to how a captain is um, operating his ship. And you have to constantly make these little slight turns, slight turns as you going down that, that, um, that, that path, you just a little bit, you know, you're in your big boat and, you know, you constantly changing it, constantly change it because the, the, the ocean like life is not steady. It's not consistent. It's, it's a lot of stuff that comes in the way. So you got to constantly set your sails, you know, readjust your sails. Um, so you have to do that. Uh, and day 11, we talked about being intentional. Um, <laughs> that was so great. Being intentional is, uh, a, a, big a big super big component to this motivational mastery do you know that and i don't know what this what the numbers are i know it's very high a lot of people sit around and waste time and yet they say how busy they are and they don't take into account well i spend two hours gossiping about something that wasn't any of my business I was watching some kind of crazy program that offered no benefit to my life, none what whatsoever. Um, I did some some things that were not a benefit to me in a positive way. And when we talk about being intentional, those things have you have to pay attention to them and they have to change they have to change in order for you to 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 uh to wake up and take control total control it sounds cl cliche ish um control of your destiny yes you are in control of that so you have to be intentional and i know for me yesterday what did i do um you know, I, I made some phone calls that I had been putting off. I 
just I was just more mindful when when you when you working together because I feel like we're working together at this thing we're just more mindful of what we do what we say how we respond and all the other kind of good stuff um 